I'd like to talk to you today about how the banking industry is taking some steps to tackle the silent crime of financial abuse. The industry has responded to concerns from community groups that more needs to be done to help vulnerable people. Financial abuse can happen to anyone, but some are at greater risk, such as older Australians, people with a disability, people experiencing mental illness, or people who are socially isolated. This is a difficult area for banks. Naturally, we don't want to interfere in how customers choose to use their money. And we don't want to make judgments that just because a customer is older, for example, they're any less competent to make their own financial decisions. But we do want to protect our customers from people who may be pressuring or manipulating them to get their money. To help, we've published two consumer fact sheets. Protecting yourself from financial abuse which outlines practical steps to protect your money and property, and setting up a power of attorney to manage your banking needs, the risks and the benefits. Visit the ABA website to get a copy of the fact sheets, or free call us and we'll post you a copy. We've also put in place some industry guidelines intended to raise more awareness among bank staff. Our frontline staff are often the first line of defence against financial abuse. By working together, we hope we've taken some small steps to help prevent this silent crime. I'm Stephen Munchenberg. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to stay in touch, please follow us on Twitter. <laughs>